Hello, hello, hello. I just want to um, take this opportunity to thank everyone who joined my YouTube channel. And I think because this is one of the videos where we are going to continue with the series of um, no ELB. <laughs> Elizabeth Lizzie Boy. So today um, I'm attending one of the exciting workshops that I have attended in very, very long time. And because what makes it more interesting as well is it was a face to face workshop. And what even builds on the interesting part is that I'm attending this workshop in America in a place called Baltimore. It is in the state of Maryland in Virginia, um, Washington. Ha! It's, yeah, America like South Africa where you get uh, numerous provinces, yeah, and region and municipalities and all that. You will think that you figured it out. Um, it's the same, same, yeah. So like I explained the place where I am. But coming back to the core topic, what I've learned today is the best way of introducing ourselves because the majority of times when we introduce ourselves to other people we use name and job title or the work that you do and that definitely doesn't reflect who you are so i'm going to do try to do that today so that you can understand a little bit more about who i am uh the person that you always watch their videos or engage with so let's start and it will go in this order it's place name and intention so i am from Nuganeng, which is north of pretoria uh about two hour almost one hour 45 minutes or two hours from pretoria but that's how you would identify the place where i'm from we used in the old days when i was growing up under Buputatswana, we used to fall under moretele um and with the new government um especially with the new dispensation uh, the new democratic uh, government where we now are classified within provinces. So I grew up in Mpumalanga. Um, and I, yeah, and then I moved to Pretoria and currently I stay and live in Cape Town in the Western Cape. But we can discuss that in some couple of years or a couple of other videos, um, and especially my experiences in the Western Cape. Um, I just want to also introduce you by my name. Uh, my name is Elizabeth, which is my Christian name that was given because in the olden days, our parents were forced to use um, Christian names to name us um, for the sake of the uh, uh, South African government where they could not pronounce um, our native names. So I was given the name Elizabeth, which I really embraced over the years because, um, you know, when you, you grow up and people um, tend to call you um, Queen Elizabeth and you you try by all means to embrace that because when you understand who Queen Elizabeth was at that point in time, the Queen Elizabeth was very famous. And when they call you Queen Elizabeth, you think that you are a queen. And yeah, then um, my other, um, I'm not going to tell you my other name, which is my given name, uh, which is my native name. Uh, for the sake of <laughs> this is internet right um so but i'm just gonna say my other name that i go by is lizzie uh and growing up i used to be called lizzie uh you can just imagine eh, right 
over the years it has transitioned from lizzy to lizzy to liz to lizbeth i i i guess that's my name i had to accept that everybody and anybody can call me by whichever one that they may make them feel comfortable but currently i go by elizabeth um and yeah and i i think i've i felt i'm i'm more comfortable with elizabeth and also like i i think only in recent years i started knowing how to pronounce my name so do not worry not if i call myself elizabeth or elizabeth it doesn't really matter it's just the tip of a tongue so whether you englishize it <laughs> do we call it englishize yeah englishize it or you speak to analyzing it whatever makes you feel comfortable calling me you can um yeah my intentions uh i always go by um this motto and i think it's not by me but it's something that i've learned over the years and i've practiced it um because i think my purpose in life is to see others rise and others grow and others succeed so i always believe and I, it resonates with me that um as i um as i rise it's not because of me rising alone it's because we rise by lifting others rise so the more people i bring along and the more people i make them rise that's where i also rise because the more successful others be because of my interaction with them uh not that i want to take any credit for it uh that's how i also grow because i know that there is something positive that i am impacting in other people's life so i rise by lifting others um and that is the motto that i've always gone by and you will um if you have come across me over the years you would understand wh where i am and what i am saying because it's not about me it's about us um how much effort i put in making sure that others succeed um does not take away anything from me um because i am fulfilled if one um by seeing others grow uh, or succeed or even be better than me because that's that's the aim um 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 and and i guess one of the things that um gives me comfort in life is um for me if i come across you as a person and i impact your life as a person and i see you grow um it doesn't take away anything from me and i really really um try by all means to also gives you thumbs up big ups mention like for example if you follow me or um we connect um especially if it's uh, on facebook or on linkedin um i will try by all means even though i would not every time comment on your statuses or statements but you will always have my back because uh you will always i will always have your back not my back you will always have my back because i will like your status i will share your status if possible to some extent uh but i believe um in the power of um lifting others hence i'm saying all this why i grew up in a family where and i am i still believe that both my parents still has a huge impact in terms of um 
helping others succeed and seeing the good in others and um and i i think i i, I take from them um i was born from two educational parents both my parents were teachers uh, they are now retired so uh, what i've learned from them is their selflessness in terms of making sure that others succeed um, without even wanting any acknowledgement of some sort but um, I, I i feel um how i observed what they did um in our community even though it's not a huge thing but in terms of them giving their um their lives in terms of sharing yeah i'll say sharing in terms of because they were both teachers in in their own rights right as well um but i um i also fell in terms of guidance in terms of the support in terms of um uh being there um as um sounding boards as teachers as well because they would have impacted in um, so many people uh, i always admired other kids from for example like other parents or other teachers kids because they would get preferential treatment but what um our parents imparted with us is that nothing you work hard for what you need you work hard for what you will get you um you get treated like everybody else so there are no special treatment um so i learned from that that um and that that's what made who i am and why i want to help others as well um so that then uh, they don't depend on any other person but also realize that you are on your own uh, especially when you are growing up as well so uh, i don't want others to think that um, nobody cares about them um, and i think um, i get my fulfillment in making sure that i support um, no matter how much it weighs on me uh, how much i go through in making sure that i put myself in your shoes but that's that's who i am and that i think that is the purpose that i was born to do to lift others um as my parents lifted me and others to be who we are today so um the journey will continue um and um i think most of the people even think uh this is so unreal right um in that i do this for money i don't do this for money i do this because i'm passionate about it and passion doesn't pay yeah they say passion doesn't pay your bills but for me i think kindness does because the more you become so kind to others uh, good things happen and um and um, yeah it, it, it is those um, effects that the more you contribute uh, they say if you give um, the more you give the more it comes back so I, I believe in that but that is me that's who I am that's who I am I, don't, I didn't want to make this video too long because I just wanted to introduce who I am where I'm from uh, but holla at me and let me know what more do you want to hear from me um uh, i will check the comments as well to to see but that is part of who i am i'm gonna share more about my journey 